Let's go over the basics of the uh, Paul and King application. First, we'll start with some of the uh, background on the system information. Um, if you go under the system tab, this mirrors the, um, the same setup that's in the existing system where you have the states, ID types, uh, races, hair color. All of these are configurable within the system and of course zip codes. So if you wanted to go into hair types, you can add a new one here by just sim simply typing a row and hitting enter and then you can uh, save it and that will do that. It will also load the default values in if these are non-existent. So if you um, deleted out this file, went back into hair color, and you can just load them again like that. Now let's get back to the main menu. So you have your customer listing here. Um, press on customers this is the entire database loaded in it's got 5800 accounts as you can see on the screen to select a customer you just simply uh, type the name in and you can see that it instantly searches um, based on whatever you type in if I pick Maria here just double click it her information comes up on the screen same as the other system, um, including driver's license information, uh, height, hair, etc. If I want to make a pawn for this person, I just press on the pawn button. And then the screen loads up to allow me to start selecting inventory items. We will uh, make a faster method to get into um, adding in those inventory items to, that can be pawned and put it in, into this same screen. But for now, it comes up to this screen. I can hit job descriptions, which is really my inventory. Press anything I want here and select it. I get a total. I can save that pawn right now by just pressing this button here. And I can print out an agreement statement. And you'll see this in a second. And it comes up. Again, this this statement is totally configurable by you. It's it's in the system right now mirroring the existing one, but this is simply something that can be um, modified in our reports designer. So any type of verbiage change that you want is easily done and then uh, you don't have to do any programming change to do that. And of course you could print this out. And just to briefly uh, go over the inventory, again, the entire inventory is also imported. I'm going to clean up this screen, but again, if you were looking for something, you can just type it in here and get that item. And again, there's 23,000 items right now that are imported into the system, uh, right directly from the other system. And again, we'll have all the security to um, navigate through these screens based on who you are. Um, additional setup items include the rates and fees and again these all mirror the existing system verbatim it, and they can be found under the uh, the rules there in terms of what the transaction fees are, storage fees, rates, terms, etc. We'll talk more about this soon.